Spark of curiosity, I deserve to find a thing Cheap your diamond blinding me, coronary eye disease What's going on y'all, I'm with Karina We finna ask her some questions So first, how's dating for you? It's alright It's messy, but it's alright What's messy about it? Uh, well let's just say I had some <laughs> I had a very interesting summer What do you mean by that? Okay um hot summer <laughs> well, yeah let's summer. say it's a, it was a girl summer okay. my first hot, hot girl summer um it was very interesting yeah okay yeah. so in this hot girl summer um what was some of the things you weren't so happy about <sighs> not so happy about i think um Yikes. Well, I don't know. A lot of the people I talked to were a little, uh, let's just like super clean. Let's mm. just say that. Super clingy, super anxiously attached. Okay, Very so you clean. don't like clinginess? No, I, no, I don't know. It depends, but yeah. it was a little over the top for me. Okay, what's well, over the top? Because, you know, most people, they like, you know, I want my partner to be all over me, or, you know touching kissy billy all that but. i mean yeah yeah but i mean like i don't know a lot of them were just like surface level flings and i wasn't really looking for anything more but i think it was a little bit uh i guess the lines were blurry, so. okay to the people watching that's hella clean what would you tell them as advice to not be so clean um <laughs> Well, you know how my mom said that every time she kisses my dad, she falls in love again? Yeah. Oh, and we kissed, I didn't feel that way. Um, I don't know. If you are clingy, good luck. Good luck. Find another clingy person. Don't ask me. Obviously, yes. don't attract with you. Yeah, no. No. Okay. No. Alrighty, so... Overall, you say it's been a hot summer, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got any advice for people that's in the dating game? They probably had a hot summer too. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give them? Um, <laughs> just be yourself and have <laughs> be yourself and have, fun. and have fun and you know just just live your life. Yeah. Already, if you got any social media you want to tell them, go ahead. Um. <laughs> um I got a. Uh, <laughs> Give us a second. See that it's a <laughs> Karina underscore dot Modesto, and you'll figure it out from there. There it is. That's Karina for you. Thank you so much. And what was your name? Jalen. It was so nice. It's so nice doing this video for Jalen. Hit him up. Oh He's yeah, awesome. y'all follow Karina too. She did good awesome. sport. All right, we out. It's good job with my boy Tez. Gonna so ask him some questions. First off, bro, so how's dating for you? Shit, dating like, you just gotta, uh, you know what I'm saying, make it make it work. You know, make it hard, you just gotta make it work for it. Don't be a dumb at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so what's some dumb shit people be doing? You know, it could be your homies, what's some dumb shit you've been seeing if you need to chill? Like, like, like what's some relationship? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's some uh, shit that you just shouldn't do? Cheat, bro. Yeah. Okay. I say cheat. Black men don't cheat. Oh, black men don't cheat. We gotta go, fellas. One more. Because like, ain't a lot. When you start cheating stuff, that's when trust issues come in, and then you start thinking like she doing it because you doing it type of shit. And that causes a lot of arguments. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When it comes to cheating. You got a definition for it or like you know some people say when y'all talk about it you tell her what you gonna do and y'all in agreement it ain't cheating or if you just step out in general that's cheating yeah nah you step out in general it's cheating y'all y'all left the career of dating yeah but like good terms when you do that that's cheating okay you guys cheating. no cheating it was something to stop the <laughs> argument you know, i know you said arguments that's a bad thing so how can you stop that For the, for the guys, a lot of people are going to like this, but uh, get real nonchalant. Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Not to the point where, like, you drift away from them, but when you start arguing, just, just, just be quiet. You know what I'm saying? I got this real life, like, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm in You know what I'm saying? The whole time, you just try to keep peace. 
Don't be trying to argue. Don't be trying to argue. Yeah. Yeah. Already, bro. That's Tez. You got Instagram or whatever you want to shout I mean, out. I mean, I got uh, Instagram. Tez, too real. T E Z Z, too real. I mean, let's get it. Like that. There it is. We're gonna ask you a few questions. So, how's dating for you? Um. Uh, <laughs> pretty non-existent right now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you look like a nice girl. You look like you focus, stay, stay in the book. Yes, exactly. Why would you say it's non-existent? You're not finding what you want? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Um, I would say now. Um, it's hard. The age group we're in of like the early twenties, I think it's hard to find people who are like serious or like wanting something serious. And I think especially with men, I find it to be a problem. Okay. Yeah. What are you lacking? What's like one or two things that you need that's just not being given to you? Um, I think maturity. One, like knowing how to take care of yourself. And knowing how to take care of another person i just don't think many young people know how to do that um and also like loyalty like i don't think a lot of people are ready to like commit so okay you you lower 20 so mm -hmm. would you be okay with going up let's say seven seven years um, <laughs> um i don't know i don't know i was gonna say it's hard because uh, sometimes yes but then you got to think like that is a 27 year old who's also willing to date like a lot younger yeah. so you got to think like okay why isn't this 27 year old dating another 27 year old but maybe i would consider depends on the person okay i've heard and i just want to hear your thoughts on this so i heard that women mature faster than men and um that's why men have to wait till they get older to be able to deal with women that's probably faster than them when they were the same age you think that's true or you think that's a you know something fake yeah i think i think it is true it's hard to know like why like i think there is certain biological factors where this obviously like the prefrontal cortex yeah. isn't fully developed and but i also think it's like a cultural thing where like to a degree we encourage men to like almost be immature like stay young and it's more forced on women to like grow up so i do think it's a genuine problem but i don't know how to yeah. fix it but yeah that's no, all good at least you acknowledge it you know mm -hmm. um if you could tell people young men that's just not there yet right they still immature what would you tell them to get right to be uh, able to get with a girl like you? <laughs> um i mean i think it's more so about them and that they should consider really like what they want and what they value um because if they want like that person who genuinely cares about them then they need to like figure out what qualities they would want in a person and possess those qualities themselves. You smart, you loyal, you grateful. I appreciate that. Go buy your mama a house. Go buy your whole family houses. Put this money in your savings account. Go spend some money for no reason. I think it's more about focusing on yourself first. Um, but yeah, but also not falling into the like, I don't know, like the, like the red pill space of like, oh, women are only going to want me if I'm like rich or have this or have that. Like women will want you if you're a nice, genuine person. Yes. So. As long as you know who you are, basically. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, cool. You got any social media you want to shout out? Sure. My Instagram. <laughs> my Instagram is Josie G, but I think two or three underscores. But yeah, you can find me on Instagram. Already, Josie was a good sport. <laughs> now we got the friends here, so yes, <laughs> it was a good interview. We out. Thank you. Mm -mm. I deserve to find a thing Chief, your diamond blinding me Coronary eye disease I deserve to find a thing You should spend your life with me I promise to keep it beat Is that something you could see?